everyone. Welcome to six by six by six by six, six, six by six canvases in six days. So if you've taken the 10 by 10, awesome, you kind of get the gist. But if you've not and you're new to the series of workshops, basically I explore the idea of working in a media, keeping the color palette the same, maybe keeping the theme the same as the example in this one using the poppies, but creating a story that goes beyond just one piece, but kind of extends through a collection of pieces. And in this case, we're gonna be using six. And we're using oil paint. So I've been really exploring into oil paint. I love this media. The texture that I can achieve with oil paint is surpassed anything I've ever used before. However, I, like probably many of you, have heard some like really bad things about it. it smells, it's messy, people say oh, they dabbled in it, they put them away. Well. I kind of thought that at first too, but I really began to love this media because of the texture. Now there's several things that you can do to make it a little bit cleaner and I'm going to go over that stuff. Um, but this media does take a little while to dry. That's another pers personal thing. If you're a media gratification girl like me, that took a little bit of getting used to. However, it's such a faster media to work in. You'll see that in these videos, I'm able to achieve this beautiful texture and depth in really kind of a matter of minutes. And of course they're time lapse, so you're getting kind of the best of that process. But it is such a forgiving media to work with when it comes to layering on the color and achieving texture. And I hope to communicate that to you, um, kind of, kind of re reveal my soul, in other words, when I'm starting to use this, because it's just this beautiful dynamic uh, media and it's gonna be new. So if you've ever wanted to try oils, this is the perfect, class because it's a beginner's class. I'm going to walk you through all the tools, all the supplies, the drying, ways to clean up. I mean, everything from soups to nuts on this. I'm going to go through even in detail the things that I use and why. Um, and if you're kind of, you've done oil, but you've put it away and maybe you're interested in getting into it again, this is another perfect class because I, my style personally is that impostive style. It's really thick um, dramatic look to your paint, almost the idea of icing. And if you've never done that before, this is kind of a perfect way to jump right into that. So everything that I've learned, I'm going to be presenting to you using this media. And again, I'm not an expert in oil by any means, but I do have my own personal style and laying it down and, and the reasons for things. I mean, really, this is about my personal process and sharing that with you. So I encourage you also, if you really do love this media, to extend outside of this workshop and to see how other artists use the media. Because just because I'm presenting in this one Donna Downey kind of turquoise ribboned packaged um, class doesn't mean that I'm the foremost authority on it. I'm just sharing with you the processes that I've really loved and come to hone in on in this book. So um, if you have any questions from any point of this workshop, feel free to email me at Donna at DonnaDowney.com but I want you to kind of enter into this with an open mind and just kind of embrace the idea of working in a series, telling that story. And I've used specific colors and I've shared those colors with you. I've chosen six because I wanted to keep it at least a, a little controlled, but that doesn't mean that you have to number one, either go with my color palette or that you have to exclude the other colors just because I've used six. Go ahead and pick colors that speak to you most. Maybe you have an idea of where you wanna put this in your house or anything like that. Go ahead and push the limits of this. Also, I've chosen to work on six by six. Well, that kind of went with the title. Um, but you can use any size. You can also use any surface. I'm using a wood cradle board, which is kind of looks like a canvas, only it's wood. You can use anything you want. The only thing I would caution you against is using um, paper for the style of painting that I'm doing. Just because I work so thick, um, it will take a long time to dry. And I think if you work on paper, it may not support the amount of paint I'm putting on there. It doesn't mean that it's not a viable source, because it is. You can paint oils onto paper. But for this workshop, I would say maybe not learning how to use the um, thick painting style on the papers. Um, and a journal. That just stay clear of a journal because number one takes forever to dry and typically journal pages probably are not going to be strong enough to support the paint either. All right, so uh, that's it for the intro. I'm really excited to present this to you. This is something that I've been playing with for a good long while now and I'm, I'm really excited to present it to you in a way that's very Donnaized and um, kind of a beginner's way into the media and I hope you love it just as much as I do. Mm -hmm. 